I have always been a huge fan of Mini Cooper. They're just so fun in their design and also how they drive. I'm back here at Winslow BMW to have a look at a brand new 2024 Mini Cooper S. And this is the Clubman. So they did make a station wagon out of the Mini Cooper and this one is it. They've done so many different variants of this. You have the Paceman. I used to own a Countryman, a manual, which I absolutely loved. It was a great car. And then you have this Clubman right here. I think, that obviously, this is the most practical one. So what we're going to do in this video is have a look at the front end design for the 2024. Check out this blacked out graphics in the front end. The side view, the faded roof that goes from red to black in the rear. I think that looks super nice. The rear view with the UD and Jack taillights, the interior, and then we're going to take this for a drive. Let's have a look at some of the basic spec and tech of the 2024 Mini Cooper S Clubman. You have a 2-liter turbo inline 4 putting out 189 horsepower and 206 pound-feet of torque connected to an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. This comes with all-wheel drive. 0 to 60 takes about 6.6 .6 seconds. Fuel economy comes in at 23 city, 32 highway. And the price for this is $36,500. So starting with the front-end design of the Mini Cooper, the 2024 model here, and I think it's such a happy little car this thing i love the mini design both in the exterior and the interior which you're going to have a look at in just a second because i feel like the mini designers are still one of those few car brands that still own their history and have a lot of fun designing new cars but based on the old traditions of mini cooper up top we do have this big black mouth as you can see right here it's not all functional if you look closely here you can see that pretty much 80 and 70 percent of this is covered up so this part is covered up right here and it's covered up on the sides and up top the only open part here is actually these slots in between my fingers right here but it still looks cool to have this big mouth in the front end there are so many circles on this design for example we have the big led headlights looking beautiful i do love that we have the black graphic going or trim is going around the headlights and this is of course typical mini headlights sitting like this beautifully in the front fender itself further down we do have round fog lights in the bottom as well so round lights all over this place in the front end in the middle here in the hood this being the cooper s it looks like it has a hood scoop but the thing is this is all fake so this is all covered up i do wish they just opened that thing up it's not a big deal just make some slots here even if it doesn't really do anything it looks better than to just have it covered up like we have now and then we have this s logo showing you that you do have the inline four turbocharged two liter with 190 horsepower further down we do have this entire area being completely open you also have some functional air slots down here. Take inspiration from this section and just apply it up here as well. Now coming around to the side of the 2024 Mini Cooper Clubman. This is the all-wheel drive version. The way you can tell that is, is you have the all four logo right here. Thankfully, it's also blacked out and not in chrome, looking fantastic. You also have the blacked out side mirrors right here. There's not really a clear shoulder line on this, but it, in some ways it still has a shoulder line and that is this trim piece that in typical mini fashion wraps around the entire greenhouse. It's a feature that I love about Mini Coopers. It feels like the greenhouse is almost coming out or popping up out of the body of this car. Very cool feature on pretty much every single Mini. So Mini designers are playing around with a bunch of different design philosophies with their cars. They have a lot of fun with the overall styling and they also have a lot of fun with the graphics. For example, have a look at the roof here. You have the blackout eight pillar, very sharp corner up here, then going straight into this cap, which in this case, as you can see, I've, I don't think I've ever seen this on a Mini before, but it looks very cool because it goes from red here, fades into this sort of gray area, and then all the way into black in the rear end. And of course, the trim around the uh, greenhouse itself is also black, creating this almost visor design for this design, looking very beautiful. And I think, Mini is, in addition to the South Koreans right now, is a place where I think I would have a lot of fun as a car designer. So what do we have talking about the wheel and tire setup here? We do have 18 inch wheels and 18s, that's enough. It's a Mini Cooper. I don't want to have any bigger wheels than this. I think these look absolutely fantastic. Very simple design in the spokes themselves. And as you know, I do like this type of multi-spoke simple wheel design. It just adds something to the design. It doesn't take away from the rest of the body. Then we have these big black 
cladding going around the wheel, wheel arches. And I forgot to mention the uh, tire size is 225s all around with the 18 inch wheel. Moving further forward in this case right here, this is a very interesting feature in the bodywork of the Clubman because you have this scoop, this scooped out some body mass here and you actually do have a functional air vent or slot in this black cladding, adding some sportiness to this design. So coming around to the three quarter rear view of the Mini Cooper Clubman, what I love what Mini is doing right now with the graphics. We, we talked so much about the design of these cars because they are having such cool features on the Minis right now. You do have the Union Jack British flag graphics in the taillight itself. And I think that's such a cool touch on the Clubman, not just Clubman, but uh, they do have it in the Countryman as well, but then it sits more vertically like this. And then we have the blacked out Cooper S badge down here with the Clubman right in the middle. It just looks great, this thing. And you, just by looking at it, this is one of these cars that when you just look at this car, it's a car that you just want to jump in and go for a drive, which we're going to do later. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now, this being the Clubman version of the Mini Cooper, it means, like, it means that it is a little bit more practical. So you do have these open split doors. And this is so cool. You can fit a lot of stuff back there, specifically if you decide to fold down the entire back seat. You do have plenty of space in this package. It's such a genius solution. I also like that it opens in this way, it makes it a little bit more unique. And up top, we do have this spoiler that we talked about with the uh, brake light integrated in the spoiler itself. And these handles, everything just looks symmetrical. And I don't think I've ever seen this solution for the wipers. You have one wiper on each window or on each door here, looking very cool, keeping that sym symmetry alive with even the wipers. Further down, we do have a very clean bumper integration here. This is very unique today. You rarely see bumpers integrated like this, which I don't think really messes up the design in a big way. All the way down, we do have the black pipes looking fantastic. Not really a sporty diffuser, but that's okay since this is a fun, not so serious Mini Cooper Clubman. Welcome to the beautiful, funky interior of the Mini Cooper Clubman. Let's fire it up, turn off the hazards, and you can see a lot more circles in here coming back from the exterior design. I love that about Mini Cooper. There is, it's, it's very congruent design, both the exterior and then coming in, the fun stuff from the exterior then comes in to the interior as well. Moving up top, for, starting up here, and then we're gonna move our way back down to the bottom section, we do have this big round LED, and this serves several functions. For example, if you use the dial volume knob for the radio, you see it's gonna move the, uh, the LED. Uh, dependent on how much you increase the volume, pretty cool in orange. Or if you adjust the uh, temperature control, you see this white piece moving from red when it's hot all the way to blue when you decide to go a little cooler. And you also have the fan speed visualized in this. So now you have a visualization of how much, uh, how hard the fans are blowing in this LED. Another detail that is very unique for this car and that I love about Mini Coopers. And this is a seven inch infotainment screen. You do have these two buttons up here. So you have the hazards and then you have this BMW button that you find a lot of BMWs as well with a, a car with a circle around it. And this is for all the safety settings. It allows you to adjust them or not depending on if it's green or red. And you can adjust that with that button. Further down, this infotainment screen, very responsive. It is of course a touch screen in this case. Let's open up the maps here. You can see just how big this is it's actually seven inches but I think it feels a lot bigger because they take advantage of the width of this screen very easy to use and you have the home button always visible up top you can change the radio settings the time you should check the calendar and check the car status go to my mini and you're gonna have a bunch of different settings in here to show you exactly what it is you want to see of your car very cool further down you do have the as we talked about the volume button and the presets for the radio following the curvature of the interior of this circle very nicely done from mini 
Down in the middle here, you do have the uh, AC controls being very sturdy, large knobs. And this is perfect for me. I love this setup. Very simple. It doesn't try to be too complicated in its design. You also have the same type of big knob for the uh, fan speed right here in the middle. And if you press this middle button, you can adjust where the, fan, where the air is going to come out from with the small little arrows that you have in this button itself. Further down, there are some additional buttons for example the heated seats in three different stages and you have these toggles for the parking sensors on and off you have the automatic shutoff for the engine on and off traction control and then you do have the sport toggle so you have three different drive modes you have green which is a minimalism efficient driving setting if we go to mid it says balance setting so it's kind of in between sport and green i would assume and last but not least of course you do have a sport setting here and everything turns red the gauge cluster circles and graphics in here all turn red very cool further down you do have a usb slots and a 12 volt outlet with a small little compartment here to store a couple of markers and two cup holders they hid the wireless charging in this car. I'm going to show you exactly where it is in just a second. Then you have this uh, gear selector looking fairly traditional. I'm going to pop up the reverse camera. You do have a pretty, uh, not too bad camera for the re reverse camera. You don't have a 360 here, but you do have the sensors for the 360 in this car. So everything you need, it's a small car. If you crash this car while you're parking, you just, I guess, need to learn how to drive better behind that we do have this toggle and this is to uh, control the infotainment screen if you don't want to use your finger you just have this toggle similar to what we have in bmws you also have all these buttons here back option so you can easily get to whatever it is you want to get to in the infotainment screen really quick without having to navigate too much you also have the parking brake located right here so the wireless charging this is a pretty nice soft touch armrest right here but it is hiding the wireless charging so we have that right here and this is adjustable so you can adjust how big your phone is and it's probably gonna fit every single phone because it goes back very far if you have a this big of a phone i think you're going into the tablet territory so very cool integration of the wireless charging underneath the armrest and what this does as well it hides the phone so you're not going to be distracted while you're driving with all the notification that pops up since you can't see them Moving on to these seats, I love these seats. They look very stylish and high quality. And you have this blue stitching on it in addition to this very nice tone of blue leather. And the bolstering of these, very nice as well. Feels super sporty for a Clubman, but it is the Mini Cooper S Clubman. So it is supposed to be a little sporty than the normal one. Very nicely done. And you also have this section, which you can adjust in and out like this, looking pretty cool. These seats, I'm actually surprised by how nice they look in this car and of course they're both power adjustable on both sides moving on to the steering wheel you do have an eight speed automatic and look at these paddles here i'm also surprised by the design of these paddles because i'm not surprised by the styling of them because they are have this very round feeling to them same styling that comes back all over this car but the length of them and the position feels proper you can see the uh, paddle from the top above this spoke and underneath it as well it's nice length to it and very easy to always know where they are since they are attached to the steering wheel steering wheel itself feels very bulky and this is a steering wheel like when you grab it you feel immediately that this is going to be a fun car to drive and i can't wait to take this out on the road in just a minute. Then we have the big mini logo in the, in, the, in the center. You have the controls for the voice commands and the settings for the head-up display. The radio settings are gonna show up when you uh, touch these arrows right here. On the left side, you do have the controls for the cruise control settings. And have a look at this beautiful little gauge cluster that we have here in the middle, an ellipse. They made an elliptical display. It's not very configurable, but you always have the speedometer in the middle and then you have the tachometer following the revs on the side. Nicely done. On the left side of the steering wheel, you do have another vent and you have this texture coming back as well with the settings for the lighting. Looking up top, you do have this sun visor that uh, opens up like this manually, which is fine. You also have the same solution back here for the rear passengers. You have a dual sunroof 
in this Mini Cooper Clubman. Very nice. You can open it up electronically by using this toggle here if you want to. Moving on to the doors, it has a very stylish design to it. Super flowy. You have some chrome, you have some gloss black, you have some leather, black and blue looking super clean. But with that said, we've had a look at the beautiful interior, the front side. Let's jump into the back and I think I'm pretty comfortable right here in my own driving position. And let's see if I fit behind my own driving position in a Mini Cooper being 6'1". All right, jumping into the back seat of the Mini Cooper Clubman behind my own driving position. And it's, it, it works. I mean, it's not the most spacious of interiors in the back seat, but honestly, I wouldn't expect that from this type of package. If I were to move forward just a couple of inches, I would still be very comfortable driving this car and I would have a little bit more leg space, but I still have plenty of leg room. I would always sit like this with my knees on the side of it anyway. So I'm pre perfectly comfortable back here with the driving position as we have right now. Further down, we do have two vents down here and two USB-Cs. And if we fold this center armrest down, you're gonna find that you do have two cup holders back here. Alright guys, it is time to take the Mini Cooper Clubman for a drive. And I want to show you this. When you start this up, look what pops up right here. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool that you have this little head-up display visor just popping up slowly out from the dash. If there is one company uh, that still has a lot of fun designing interiors, it's definitely Mini Cooper. I would want to be a... Uh, interior designer at Mini Cooper for sure. There's no big displays and look at this integration right here. A big round integration of the infotainment screen with this light setting that we have. Everything, no matter what you change, if you change the uh, temperature, you see the light changes in the circle. Just some fun stuff with this interior. So what do we have under the hood? We do have a two liter inline four turbo with 190 horsepower zero to 60 in about 6.6 .6 seconds and this i love mini coopers they just feel tight and nimble and small and i'm sitting way down in the car itself i can even go down even lower if i want to to really get that cozy feeling in here and you also have an eight speed let's put it in manual and see what that's all about eight speed and in sport there we go dual clutch automatic what i love about this uh, bmw uh, <laughs> i almost said bmw what i love about this mini is that it is it is in fact almost a bmw when it comes to this um, driving feel of this it feel the, the steering is a little on the heavier side which i love it's also a very fat steering wheel. And it is so much fun to drive. This is one of these cars that shows you that you really don't need 800 horsepower, you know, to, for it to be a fun car to drive. This is a fantastic little driving machine. And it is a wagon, a mini wagon. They've done so many versions of this car now. Oh yeah. This is one of these cars with 190 horsepower that you don't, you know, you don't have to be afraid of stepping on the gas because you can use those 190 horsepower all the time when you're driving it. So here we're coming into this traffic circle. Handling is fantastic. Out of the circle. Dual, cl dual clutch gearbox very quick and snappy shifts i love this car it's very comfortable too it feels almost like in the corners it doesn't feel heavy but in in the in the quality and the uh, the, the suspension and everything feels high quality and that sort of adds a little bit of that weight to the overall driving feel 
And it, in, in one way, it feels like a bigger car than what it is. But when you're driving it in the corners, it definitely feels still like a good old Mini. And I love that about this car. <laughs> so you can just floor it and have fun with it. This car just makes me happy with the design, with how it drives and everything. It's just a wonderful little machine. And I love that Mini hasn't gone away from the original concept that they have with their Mini cars, which is supposed to be pretty uh, affordable at least. They're not that affordable anymore like they used to, but you also get a lot of tech in here, which is fantastic. Backup camera, you do have the 360 sensors and you have a pretty small backup camera here, but it's gonna show you everything you need to know. Just a very enjoyable little car, this Mini Cooper Clubman. And with the extra space in the back, it's a pretty practical car too. I do love this gearbox, this dual clutch eight speed, very quick and 190 horsepower. I feel it's enough to have a lot of fun in this car. And that's what Mini is all about. It doesn't matter what trim level you go for, it should always be a fun, happy little car to drive. And I think that's exactly what's going on with the 2024 model year of the Clubman. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thanks to Winslow BMW for providing this vehicle for me to review for you guys today. If you're interested in this car or their entire inventory, I'm going to link that down in the description and I will see you in the next video.